Ons gesels vanavond oor die taxibedrijf in Zuid-Afrika, nadat hulle onlangs hulle spiere gebuild het in die hele Johannesburg en groe dele van Pretoria tot stilstand gedwing het dier die staking. Hoe werk een taxi staanplek en wat is pendelaars wat van taxis gebruik maak, sy ervaring, ons het gaan uitvind. Die Randburg taxi staanplek in Johannesburg bedien dagelijks tussen 40.000 en 60.000 pendelaars. Hier in Randburg, Taxi Mall rank, we've got 12 associations plus the hawkers that side. Those associations, they've got different routes from Randbeck going to different places. Like, we've got routes here to Cosmo, we've got routes here to Johannesburg, to Alexander, to Ivory Park, even long distance taxis here to Petersburg and also to Mafeking and Copella, that side of Northwest and Brett. Sonder beamtes binnen die staanplek zou dit chaos gewees het. Marshals, they help taxis. When the taxis enter the rank, they take note of the registration and then as time goes, they will call those number plates of taxis to come on the platforms to load passengers to different places. Norman Galushi is een van die beamtes. I start in the morning, it's at uh, half past six, then I knock off late at half past seven. My job is to make sure that my passengers they are right the takes on the safety way. I must have to check all of the staff to check not overloading, check the front doors, sliding doors, that they are operating well, and check the ears of the children that they can give us a problem of overloading. As you your van gedra in the stand plek, word you beboot. We've got different fines here, or, or maybe different rules, where there are fines for, maybe you are on the wrong side of, of that rules. Like, you don't hoot inside the rank, if the driver hoot, you're gonna be fined. And then there are fines for marshals if they are not doing their job properly inside the rank. And also for people who come inside the rank and hawk. It's, it is not allowed because we've got hawkers that side that are doing the same business. Peke Zela am Tembu, a bank amtenaar, pendel dagelijks van sy huis in Mareburg, Johannesburg, na die middestad waar hy werk. We never had sufficient money just to take a bus. So obviously I had to take a taxi. So I remember vividly that I had to learn at the age of 12 to, to take a taxi. Normally I spend like 45 minutes in the morning and then in the afternoon depends on the traffic. It's normally around 30 also to 45 minutes. So you can say it's an hour and 30 minutes all put together. The reason why I don't use a car is like normally my monthly expenses when I use a taxi is like 400 rands. As opposed to when I use a car, when I calculate it monthly it's a thousand rands. So it's like I save 600 bucks from that. The most convenient thing is that you get to relax more than anything. Ongani Rasmeni is a barista van Kaapstad wat elke dag van Guguletu na Groenpunt, waar sy koffiewinkel is, reis. I've been using taxis since, uh, from day one, since I was young. And yeah, my dad was also a taxi driver back in Eastern Cape, where I come from. You have to get up very early. I wake up uh, half past four every morning and then get home like half past six. It's already dark. I spend 15 minutes from home to work and I spend like, I think, 30 minutes from work to home. The worst thing is when they not driving in a good way and then they don't wanna listen, yeah. That makes me very scary. When it comes to that, man, like we actually don't know if the driver has the papers or we just passengers, as we get into the taxi, we wanna go wherever we wanna go and then Sometimes all to find out like the driver, some of the drivers, they don't have permit, they don't have license. And sometimes driver, they could like run away, they could stop and run away when they see traffic. Like they could like run away and then leave us like in the taxi. I had an accident, but the taxi was from PE to Queenstown and uh, five people died. Eh? I was with my sister also there, but we survived. We survived and yeah, thanks God for that. Hoe beinvloed is staking pendelaars? When the taxi strike, it's very difficult day. Eh? There's no business for me. It is very dangerous when the taxi strike because uh, there's lots of people died because of their fight. Sometimes we hear that from the radios, but sometimes it just happened without us knowing. You come to the station and uh, you, you will hear about your friends that like tomorrow is gonna be strike because those guys, they don't like warn us when they gonna start the fight. They just do it. If you consider the fact that should anything happen in the tax industry, for argument's sake, there's a taxi strike. It impacts almost everyone. 
the businesses, companies, even commuters. In our case, in the event that there's no taxis, we struggle to get to work. So it's very large.